Hello loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Daquana White, I bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content. So this week's vlog will be a combination of moving, um, just settling in and creating new spaces and new vibes, but also I'm going to be, it's going to be informative, um, it's going to be some kind of life updates uh some big announcements and things like that which you will see uh, maybe i don't know a little bit later into the vlog i will come back and i'll be talking to you also right now i'm actually getting ready for my birthday photo shoot and you see these black pins i'm gonna put silver um over there but right now it's like a placeholder because i wanted to see how this was gonna look because this is a v-part wig okay no leave out no lace no glue none of that just a v-part wig and i clip here clip here clip there all right put the cones in the back and on the sides and it really was an easy process which you'll see me applying it a little bit later when i come to tell you about something really important okay but um yeah this is so so cute i initially wanted to do an updo a lock updo but uh, turned out doing something like this because my locks need a retwist and it just wasn't going to look how I wanted it to look. Okay. So anywho, um, thank you guys again. Thank you for joining this vlog. Let's go ahead and hop right in and I'll be back looking like this with some life updates. Good morning. So I am actually getting ready to make a run to the post office and this is a really chill basic fit. I just got this high neck crop on from Simply B. These uh, sweatpants, these joggers are from Pretty Little Thing. I couldn't find my chest bag from Shein, so I didn't plan on looking for it any longer. And I put it on just my Teddy Blake black purse. And I always take a water bottle with me anywhere. Just It's like a habit. Like I don't know if I'm going to get thirsty. It's only 10.30, so I'm not going to eat yet. Probably not going to eat until like 12, because that's usually the time I eat between i'm trying between 12 and like 8 slash 9 so yeah i ate a little late last night but um i like these little glasses from shein as well i don't know they're just cute they're just fashion glasses because it's actually kind of dim outside so yeah of course i have my v part wig on which takes mm, i would say three minutes tops to put on i haven't wound curl it since the first time and that was like three months ago maybe two months i'm not sure so yeah um, I do have to add some more wine curls to it, but I ain't in no rush because I want to wash it and stuff too. And I just have some Crocs because we ain't doing too much, but let's go ahead and get going. So I actually picked this up like a month ago and I haven't put it in here yet. And I do, I am the girl who people watches in the car. So I um, got this um, cup tray and it's supposedly, well, supposedly, it will hold up in the car cup holder and we're gonna see how it works <laughs> um because i actually want to use it for my ipad or like i said if i do get fast food i like to sit in the car and watch people and eat or just you know be on the phone chilling talking in the parking lot um i typically do that so yeah let's see because i only have one hand it's not going to be a great demonstration but you basically just put this in there um you can i'm about to push it down but not too much so here is the thing where you can turn this to well this will expand to tighten it if you turn it that way i think i actually want it to be more like towards that way and not so much towards me so i'm gonna do that and i kind of need both hands to do that so it doesn't fall over yeah i just think it's super cute and the tray actually holds three pounds um i'll link it down below y'all take a look at this first of all i'm ashy don't do me um and this is a matte screen so it looks dusty but it's really not it's like good for using my pencil on the ipad so yeah it's not really dusty um but anywho you can see yesterday at 7 35 i was editing this right so i'm like okay cool you know i'm gonna come back to my where is my week like what i need my nails done what what's going on so i'm gonna wait till i go back in the house and see um because i'm like i know darn well i was editing my freaking planner um but i know what i have to do today i'm packing i'm 
I'm planning my content that I'm gonna film tomorrow. I'm going to the post office, and today is my anniversary, my one year with baby. So, um, we're cooking tonight. So it's just like, okay, wow, what's going on? We'll see. But for now, we just gonna go ahead and lock the screen and go ahead and get to the post office. <laughs> So, um, I'm out of the post office. I have this. I think this is a book or a journal. I know this is a keychain. This was a wig that they didn't put the correct address on. And then these are like Poshmark items. So, three Poshmark items, which I don't know if I'm going to send back out because Poshmark already refunded them or just put back with like um, the closet sale stuff or whatever. I don't really know. But I do want to open this keychain and stuff, but I do have to um, go through this stuff and see what it is. But I know what this one is. The young lady put the wrong address on her wig order. I'm going to go through everything else, but I really wanted to show y'all this here. Okay, so of course it has the wristlet on it or wristlet. I feel like this is like a glass breaker, if I'm not mistaken, like a window breaker. I could be wrong. Um, you have like the emergency whistle. This is like a lip gloss holder and I have this one in there, but I also have this one that came with it. Um, of course, the little pom-poms, uh, door grabbers and button pressers. And I forget what this is, but we'll see. Um, also hand sanitizer, uh, like this is awesome. Pepper spray, all that girl. Um, I'm actually about to put some hand sanitizer in here um, and I'm about to switch over my keychain and stuff. Like I am so happy that I got this and it's from the keychain plug and I do I'm gonna leave all the info down below I have a coupon code which is quanta 20 but yes honey so what I was most excited about is here I have three tests from let's get checked and I'm about to tell you all about it in my next clip but um y'all know I usually do like my STD testing with let's get checked but these are very very important and very special it's vitamins it's PCOS it's heart it's diabetes all of that y'all let's get it all right all right all right so as i told you all i will tell you all about let's get checked and once again i want to thank let's get checked for sponsoring this vlog this move and everything like thank you let's get checked all right y'all really make my life a bit easier so i'm gonna go ahead and get my wig on and all of that but i'm gonna go ahead and tell you all about let's get checked and as i told you i have the diabetes and heart test as well as a vitamin test and a um, PCOS test because as you guys know I wax so um, and because I know my cycle can be irregular and just other things it's like I wanted to go ahead and get this squared away and one thing about me life is always on go okay and granted I take my breaks and I have my downtime and I do what I need to do to maintain my peace okay and my level of clarity at the end of the day being an entrepreneur entrepreneur <laughs> entrepreneur i'm a I'm mixed influencer and entrepreneur together but being an influencer entrepreneur a girlfriend a dog mom all of that can really be a lot so thank you let's get checked for making my life easier okay i don't have to go to my um physician's office and get checked for things that i can just get you know mail to me directly to my house okay next day delivery it comes really really quick i can go on the site and the results are there in two to five days and then over the phone once the physician reviews my results and stuff and they consult with their nurse they then consult with me okay the nurse calls reaches out to me and in some cases they can prescribe like medications and things like that or you know they like hey girl this is serious. We need you to actually go into a doctor's office or whatever the case may be. I'm pretty sure that they will be able to tell you that. Um, so with that being said, I just like the convenience. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be putting my wig on. I, I just got so sucked in, y'all. <laughs> but I really just like the convenience of being able to test at home. Um, and outside of these tests that i have here again heart and diabetes well cholesterol and diabetes which i think it's called the heart and diabetes test um aside from vitamins aside from pcos i also did other tests and i want to say one of the other ones 
I don't know. I feel like I pushed that. No, it's fine. I don't know if it was a fertility thyroid. I don't know what it was, but I feel like I had to be getting on or off my cycle, if I'm not mistaken. So I could be wrong, but they have a lot of tests. Okay, women's health, men's health, STD, STI, all that good stuff. So outside of me just going there to get my STD screenings, I also was like, let me try something else. Okay, because um, I want to try... You know, I just want to be informed. It's better to know. And let me go on a little tangent really quickly. Let me grab my wig and spray it. But on a little tangent, because things can be so sudden. There has been so many sudden losses. And not my personal life, but it's personal to me. Because it is, you know, people who are close to me. And their families and things like that. And it's just like... These are things we just really got to start being aware. And I know for my community and where I come from, going to the doctor wasn't always affordable. You know me, I literally, <laughs> health insurance is a grip for entrepreneurs. If you do not get health insurance through a job or corporation or like Medicaid and Medicare and stuff, it's a grip to try to get a good, med like a plan, okay? So... For me to be able, and I'm sorry if I start getting that stuff. I have on gloss and it could like build up. It's like, uh, ugly. But for me to be able to have the access to go right online, order the test, it's there immediately. Well, it comes to me like the next day and to be able to just send it back real easy, get my results. And if I find like, okay, well, this is a little more serious. You might want to go in and get your regular and all this, you know, then that's that. But to just be trying to go into these offices and get random, mm -mm. they be charging a grip. But I do feel like Let's Get Checked is affordable for the tests that I have purchased on my own. And then also for these tests as well. So, yeah. So before I put my wig on, I actually wanted to say that the Let's Get Checked laboratories are actually CLIA approved and CAP accredited. So you have no worries because these are the highest forms of accreditations. I knew I closed my eyes because accreditations <laughs> was going to be a tough word for me. So I don't want to say don't worry, but there is literally nothing to be worried about. I was introduced to Let's Get Checked what? three to four years ago at this point and i've been rocking with them ever since it's a really easy process i wake up in the morning do my test whether it's um urination or uh the finger prick either way do it get it sent out to us i thought say usps no ma'am ups and i get my results and all that good stuff so it's a really easy process y'all so i don't want y'all to have any fears or worries about it um i a lot of people look at me and they're like you're an influencer you're gonna tell us that no i'm a real person who goes through real issues and i need real results and everything okay so and let's just a little bit let's touch on the fact that going to the doctor as a plus size person can be so freaking annoying like um it could just be like i'm here for this and people really don't believe us like um, being a black woman, a fat woman, and I don't want to play no cards like people love, but you're playing the race card. It's not a card. It's a literal observation. Look at the half wig. But it's a literal observation that we are not believed in some cases or we are looked over um, personal. What is this? Personally, I have been looked over just because I am fat. So, oh, nothing's wrong with you outside of your fat and you just need to lose weight and it's like but can i get tested for this thing that has been like you know well if you lose weight all those symptoms will go away and that's not always the answer so y'all i love let's get checked that i said all that to say that i don't have to go to no uncomfortable um visits to the doctor if i if it can be avoided like you can you know i'm still gonna get my checkups and stuff but if it can be avoided and it's something real quick that i want answers to then i'm gonna go ahead and go and let's get checked and get my freaking test okay nobody got time 
Ain't nobody got time for the foolishness and to be uncomfortable and to feel overlooked when I can just go ahead and get my results. Okay. All right. So with that being said, if you want to get tested at home, if you want to do your own test, get your own results confidentially, okay, go to trylgc.com slash Daquana White. So I'll have that on the screen and I'll also have it listed down below in the description and you already know your girl got you with the coupon code do y'all see how easy that wig was but i gotta lay this part down but you you know i got y'all with a coupon code which is daquana 30 for 30 percent off and like i said these tests are affordable um now if you are sexually active so if you are sexually active and you want your STD and STI screenings regularly, it is still affordable. And again, I do have that coupon code, the Quanta 30 for 30% off. It is affordable. And I feel like it's something that you should do every so often because, you know, you want to be aware and you can always pull up your results. And I don't know if you all are like this, if you're in a relation, if you're in like relations with people and they're like, where your where your results at where your papers at and you can just go on your app okay go on a website oh here you go um here i just got tested this day and these are my results like um just for security and safety reasons so once so yeah, once I'll again wait. i want to thank let's get checked for sponsoring this vlog i am excited you know a little anxious about my results and i'm ready to hear back and see um because some things are already self-diagnosed <laughs> like pcos and stuff but it's just like i want that final boom boom pow and then also i want to get these results and then you know then i will start taking the next steps to with my OBGYN and things like that so yeah let's go ahead and finish our birthday beat so it absolutely i did not even want to do my hair down um for this so i don't even like I, I love my wig like i love my v part wigs it looks amazing i didn't even put curls in. i literally just brushed it and put the heat protector on because i plan to do more curls but um yeah i didn't want my hair down i wanted to do a lock updo but i need a retwist and girl i'm not doing it right now i got other things that i need to do so i'm over here looking i definitely probably want this shoulder out um i need to lay this down let's see how dark it is it is 10 a.m so i was getting over a cold so you guys are gonna have to excuse me because i sounded very breathy and stuffy in this video okay i have been doing a complete closet clean out as well well not complete but a whole closet clean out with um is it whole and complete almost the same thing a semi closet clean out along with packing so let me show you guys what i have what's the situation in the office right now well in the hallway dogs are mad because it's raining super hard and they can't go outside right now so yeah let's be real it's almost always only remy she is a cry baby look <laughs> she is a cry baby gg china they're fine um they're only like mad if they're all separated or something and gg might bark in the middle of the night or something but during the day, they don't care. When we come get them, we come get them, we take them out. And I try to keep them on as much of a schedule as I can, um, which will be going into the effect more, let's be real, um, because I am going to have like office hours. So, anywho, these are the two lamps from the office, two shelves. I broke my desk down, so took the top off of the uh, side part. And I took the drawers out to make it easier for them to carry. That's just like a little holder that had like my immediate items on the steps. That is a rug that I'm bringing upstairs for the dogs. This is now their room, I guess. Um, this stand is going. And then here is three bags of clothing for the closet sale, which I still have to put some more clothing in there from my recent haul. I am still not done going through my closet. I literally just did laundry and all of that. So I have like six bags of laundry to go through most is towels and linens but a lot is clothing as well because if i get like makeup and stuff on the clothing i have to wash it before i put it in the closet sale okay now y'all see this don't do me so when i was painting this i did not paint the behind like the back part of it so it just looks kind of white from the front so yeah whatever all right y'all so right now i'm just making up the guest bed because 
baby's um brothers are staying i swear i just love this room so so much and i have this remote which controls those two lights <laughs> i love it so much but yeah i got this room back together after i did use the yesterday to film so so cute there i am girl with no bra on looking crazy they say hey Anywho, so I guess this is progress. Oh, my pinky, I just hit it. So this rug used to be in the living room and it's not meant to match the curtains. That's, they just in here. Um, so their cages are now going on this rug. I like to keep their rugs, their cages on rugs. Couldn't say that. Cages on rugs because they're dogs. <laughs> like fur all of that i don't want it in the original carpet to the house so i put down this area rug and this is the old one from the living room i didn't show y'all the new one i don't think so i'll show y'all that um i'm taking the plant and that mirror and that little breakfast nook go to um or lunch nook whatever but the studio stuff is gonna stay and I'm going to put a gate around it. But then I also ain't even commit to keeping, like, all the studio stuff out. I might just put all the studio stuff in the closet. Because these dogs are bad. So, um, yeah. I am about to put some sheets and stuff in their crate. And babe is moving stuff downstairs. And you can see his bags of closet sale clothes, as I showed y'all already. So, yeah, me and Brittany are going to get to the garage after this, which is just like wig stuff and closet sale stuff, like shipping stuff. So it's not going to be too bad, but I kind of want to go through everything and just get rid of a lot of stuff like that's not going to be used. So I am posting some photos on thrifty slay because it's been a minute we had breakfast i don't i'm not a breakfast person i got up at 6 30 this morning i started cooking at like 7 um 30 and baby and her brothers are here so I'm watching bridgerton it's kind of just playing i'm doing some email marketing and some posting so yeah don't ask me why but this is not supposed to get rained on and I didn't have my cover from Amazon yet. So I just sat it on top of there to get it out of the way. So let me show y'all what we got going on. Basically, baby has been working. Okay. I commend her for real, for real. I appreciate her. Um, she brought all of this downstairs. Mind you, this stuff is like... One thing I will say is accumulated. <laughs> um, everything that I, not everything, but most things I bring from previous homes. I don't just go buy a whole bunch of new furniture to be real. And like my old living room set, for instance. Um, and this doesn't even have to be explained because if I wanted to just get furniture and whatever, I can. But I just be wanting people to know like I like to make, <laughs> you know, semi-smart decisions when it comes to things like this so unless it's needed or being reused like this used to be in my old um in a town home it was my bookshelf now it's in my office and i use it as just like display so that desk i've had since 2017 so for five years since my first apartment and this as well used to be in my old bedroom um, so everything is like reuse, reduce, recycle. Those are my old living room lamps. And yeah, uh, the newest things in the office would be this cube thing. Let me bring y'all out here to the garage and show y'all what's going on. Okay. Um, this is new cause the other, that broke. It was one like that. It had a bunch of USPS boxes and it broke. So I got that when I moved here um that tv was my first tv in my first apartment and this desk was sent to me um i'm doing another video on it because i didn't like my first video on it and this table is really dusty oh but this is from my old town home i've had that since 2017 this table right here those shelves i want to say since 2017 like for real this garment rack 
all of this. So um, they got a lot of stuff out. This stuff is like garage storage. So boxes for moving in, tools. When I do events, I have stuff to decorate, tissue, paper towel, Christmas stuff, drinks that we keep in here. So yeah, y'all. I was actually proud of the fact that a lot of this stuff is just reused, reduced, and recycled. <laughs> um, we're going to actually make this a bar. Like, a, I call it the bar cave. We've been calling things like, I have a woman cave. Babe have a, has a woman cave. Um, my woman cave happens to be my walk-in closet. My woman, my woman cave. Let me turn y'all around. So, my woman cave is my walk-in closet. Babe's woman cave is her cowboy room. Um... And then basically you're gonna have a dog cave. This is going to be like a bar cave because it's gonna be a bar, you know, the little game tables, game hoops and a uh, card table out here. And one thing I love about the garage is that I put these foam mats down under the feet. They just feel really comfortable. You don't feel obligated to wear shoes out here. But most times I have like my Crocs or something on or my slippers. Um, and it's also, y'all know, half workout. Let me show. So right now it's a lot of boxes because we was doing moving. But um, yeah, over here is like workout. And then this is the ground. So half is like workouty, And then the other half is like faux wood. But it is foam. Um, it does have to be vacuumed and stuff. This is going to be like... I don't know how I want to do it yet because I definitely want it to all sit out of the way because we do want to have the game table and stuff set up. So just imagine that all of this is where I used to fulfill orders and all of this is going to be gone. Okay, well, the TV is going to stay, but all of this is going to be gone. So we might put like the hoop over there, the little table, little card table, but I'm still going to use like a portion of this garage for storage, as you can see. Um, I just don't know how I want to do it yet, but I'm thinking I'm getting like two cabinets or something or um, the movers, my old movers had broke this shelf. So they paid for it. They had to reimburse me for real for a few things actually. But um, yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I wanna store like my tools and my paper towels, my drinks and stuff away. Like I don't want it all just out like this, um, how it is, but the bins and stuff are gonna stay how they are. Not like that, but you know, packed up. And that's pretty much that y'all. They, like I said, have been moving, but I just wanted to show y'all that you do not need to always buy new freaking things. You can reuse things, and I can't wait that. I love that they're all empty because now I can wipe everything off. So, yes, um, super excited. Let me get back to work. All right, y'all, so this is how it's looking. I have cleared out um, the art stuff that I told y'all, and it is in this corner which is more condensed than what I thought it would be. So um, that's how that looks. And I'm gonna put the gate to go here. And luckily the gate has a door, so yeah. Um, set up their camera. This actually has 360, so I can look at them um, anywhere they're at in this room. And like when I'm gone, I don't wanna keep them in their cages. I want them to be able to have some freedom. So I'm just trying to set the room up so that they can have that freedom. So yeah. Got that camera set up finally. I literally had it for like three months and procrastinated like five. It took five minutes to set up. So got the purifier and I had to sit it over there because it was right there and they could mess with it. So trying to make this room dog proof. And those books going in the hallway. That's Brittany mess, y'all. She come over here every time. <laughs> Say hey, Brittany. Hi. And make a mess. And that's okay. She's sitting right there. I'll take you home. <laughs> um this is really plain i don't know if y'all remember my date night setup for valentine's day i think i'm gonna put that tent in here and have it be like a chill out section but i don't know refrigerator goes to the garage um the safe i don't know where i'm putting it and the lighting and stuff is going with me so that is this room hi babe say hey to the vlog y'all she did so much today she don't think so. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Hey loves, so it is officially not moving day. That was yesterday. But we are here today. Um, not so bad. I'm actually I already started and I forgot to show you all first. So this is what <laughs> I was left to do, and that is okay because I literally just needed baby and her brothers to help with getting the stuff here. And if you know they couldn't help, I would have um gotten movers. So with that being said um i'm so thankful for them i told them thank you all of that good stuff okay so now i am here and i know some people they you know i ain't about to throw shade on nobody but i know people get like the super luxurious high rise let me turn y'all around super luxurious like high rises and stuff and i was just like I want something reasonable and because me and Bay now cohabitate and she had her own place I had my own place now we're together at one place I was like let me get the other place you know um and make it like a workspace so um I'm not in the business of explaining why because I know some people be like why you don't need that and I'm just not even about to justify only thing I'm going to say is that I wanted to separate work from home and I know it's very convenient for a lot of people to work from home and I get that but for me it's not convenient as a procrastinator as somebody who needs those firm boundaries between work life home life and granted I have been doing it for 10 years what am I 28 so yeah for about 10 years ish I have been doing it and I realized I feel like I have way more potential if I do set those firm boundaries and being at home and the dogs doing what they doing and you're just obli not obligated, but you're just, you feel obligated to, oh, the kitchen's dirty. Let me do the kitchen. Oh, let me vacuum real quick. Oh, let me make up this bed. Oh, let me do laundry. I could throw a load on and then get back to work. I can do all that. And it's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to have to do that. You know, so I want to set a firm work schedule, a firm home schedule, I guess you'll say, right? So that's why I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And if this year, if I find out, look, I don't know if I really want that either, then we'll figure something else out. We don't really know. We're here to test the boundaries. We're here to test everything. So I feel like, like I said, I'm going to give myself this year to see if this does make me, not make me more productive because I feel like productivity benefits nobody but capitalism so i don't want to be quote unquote more productive i just want to get my work done <laughs> in a timely manner um and yeah and the ventures that i have um the businesses that i have started and all of that it's like i think it's definitely it's time you know it's time i had three separate workspaces at home a whole office slash dog room a whole studio slash woman cave slash filming room a whole garage slash workout slash fulfillment center and it was like no let's put all work in one place and that's what i did so with all that being said um it's time to get to unpacking and all that good stuff and i'm excited i'm really really excited and i'm about to put some tunes on and knock this out they do have to come fix the air um they supposedly came and fixed it but it's better but it's not the best so they're gonna fix that but until then i got my dyson back there and i got like some stuff at the house like closet sale stuff and haul stuff that i need to do as well as lighting and camera equipment so i'm gonna go back and get that later but first i want to kind of just get things situated hello loves welcome back to day three day one was babe and her brothers moving everything i don't think i got any footage from that day Day two was yesterday when I came over here to start putting things together and Brittany did come help me. Brittany always is a big help. So shout out to Brittany. I know y'all know Brittany by now. So now we are on day three and I am over here basically going to wrap everything up. I mean, it's still early. It's about 3 p.m. and I plan to be here probably to about 8 p.m. and get this stuff together. So let me walk you through what I did th do already and I'm not gonna take too long. So we have these fans going because they have to come fix the air. And honestly, I could be so heated about that right now. But honestly, I feel so good and I'm so, so happy that the heat isn't really bothering me. So it is what it is. 
Now out here, I did start putting the tile down. This table I want outside, so it's just sitting here. This will be all clear. Um, by today, I think Babe is coming to finish up what she's doing. That is my real Monstera, which I think I want just right here. I don't really want to put her outside. I don't want slugs to get to her. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit her like right here or right there on the floor next to my what is going to be my tea bar. The faux tree is going outside. It's not gonna be in here. Um, so all of this will be clear. Now, um, over here, I might change it. I know I want this to always be open, but um, I might move that little gold thing away. This will be my tea bar, which is a bar cart. And I just have the printer over here, shredder, and like my little bin area, which I've had that since my first apartment. So it's hard to let that stuff go, but it's also useful as well. The TV will not stay here. It's actually going in Babe's woman cave at home. Both of her TVs will be in there, gaming and football and all of that stuff. So this will be clear. I don't plan to use the fireplace. So I will have my whiteboard over here. Um, so yeah, that's all we're gonna do over here. And then this is like my main office area. All of this was in my old office and I just set it up over here. I felt like at first I wanted to put it over here, but that's the closet cell area. So yeah, um, I like it here. Uh, and I did that because I don't even know. I just was like, I think I want it over here. I felt like it'll be too tight back there in the dining area. So, yeah, I'm going to move my desk over some, but I have to take the top off and do all of that. So, I ain't doing that right now. <laughs> That's not my main focus. So, yeah, I'm loving it. That chair will not stay there. I'm getting a taller, more comfortable chair because that will be my main work space. Um, so yeah that's pretty much that now this table right here i don't know i don't really like this being visible so i might put this stuff in that bin right there with my chi machine in it and uh oh, I'm running into my fan child this packing stuff is gonna go in that laundry room so i right, don't even worry about that this is just to show y'all the progress we've made this table will be clear for the most part probably have like pink pre-made boxes on it to be honest so that's just that that's just my shipping area where I pack orders really happy about that so then over here is pretty much set up that stuff I have to put away in the kitchen um, I don't plan to cook much over here but if I you know want to I have the full kitchen to do so and so over here is like everything that was in the garage area so wig stuff, packing orders, box supplies, tape, all of that, okay? Lashes, hair, inventory, everything. So I've always had two computers. One was for my assistant, one was for myself. And so I still have both of those. This one is gonna be mostly like where I sit down and check emails and do all of that. This is literally just connected to my shipping um, printer. So all my labels come out through there. Now. I could just use my laptop or something. I'm thinking about it because I'm definitely like, do I really want to have two computers? But I've always had them. One just was upstairs, one was downstairs. But when I had my assistant, we were both in the same room, just, you know, with the two computers. So it's not nothing that I, you know, is an addition. It's just always been around. Um, and it's just making things useful. And if you know Mac, they get slow. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but they get slow. So I'm just like... I don't want to be doing too much on one computer interior design zoom meetings everything like I like to have separate things like that because if you're doing too much Photoshop and design all of that it starts to run really really slow so I'm like let me just keep one for shipping and one for everything else that I do right <laughs> but yeah anyhow this bin under here I just literally took it out the box it unfolds and you just put this little sack in there so this is what I'm gonna to use to kind of move my, um, what do you call it? Packages in and out. Um, I think that's gonna be super cool. Love that, really, really love that. 
printing tape, all of this stuff. Like I said, supplies going in the laundry room, but I'm waiting for them to come get that laundry set because I don't need it. So, yeah. Um, over here, I just have to hang up. All of these bins are cleared. That's, what, seven bins I cleared yesterday. So, lid. Suitcase just has stuff that I'm putting in a filming area. It's just like everything is coming together so nicely. I'm mad that light fixture is so low. I know I'm going to hit my head on it some more, but it's okay. But that completes everything, like what I've been doing so far. Again, TV will go. This TV will go. And the washer will go. Um, once the washers are picked up, then I can put all these packing boxes, shipping boxes in there. So i um, waiting for that. And this is going to be my filming room. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. I am going to have a garment rack, a console table, and a chase lounge. Literally, that's my backdrop. I didn't want too much. There may be like a wall arch sticker and um a rug down but other than that not too much <laughs> um i'm back here where i'm standing right now this is like cute little corner area and that's just gonna be where my camera stands when i'm filming and i have all of this area here in here to put lighting um in here is where i'm using it for storage right now but this is where I'm going to store extra tripods and backdrops and all that stuff. So um, I might have extra clothing and stuff that I need to film in there too. That is my filming shelf. But that's pretty much what we're doing here. <laughs> like this room is going to be the most simple room. Just literally a backdrop to film. And um, initially I wanted to do it on this wall. But I think this wall has more space. So that's everything that I've been doing okay i have finished putting together the whiteboard my favorite thing is that it is mobile and i will link everything that i did uh, additionally get here even though everything is already most things are already linked but i really love that you can flip it so one of my favorite things for sure i don't think i was supposed to do it like this but there we go and put it back in place so um yeah i kind of just want this over here, I'm gonna fix the printer um, area to make room for it, but I definitely wanted it just over there. Good morning. Y'all hear the morning in my voice. So I'm about to just brush my teeth real quick and I am about to get going. It is nine o'clock, so I'm gonna let the dogs out while I, um, what am I doing? <laughs> Packing my car. I have four more bags of clothes. And the rest is just tripods. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And my calendar alerts are going off over here. Wait. Okay. Yeah, my calendar alerts are going off. But I'm going to do that. Let them run around for a bit. Then I'm going to feed them. I need to wash this mirror, as you can see. That pesky white spot. Um, but I think the cleaners come Thursday. So, but like I was saying, it's 9 o'clock. And this is going to be the time where, um, like, 8, 9, where we start, you know, where we get going anyway. Because my new schedule for myself, I believe it's going to be 9 to 6 or 10 to 6. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet, but we shall see. But, um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get going. Good morning. We are here day two. So, I have an office chair to put together. Um, these boxes are from companies I have to do reviews for, um, well, unboxings. I want to put a different office chair over here. I do have to change the front door lock. So if you know me, I brought my lunch today too, right there. If you know me, I have this lock at my house as well. This one, I'm not going to put a keypad up, but the one at my house, it does have keypad. They got like fingerprints, all types of smart locks, but I'm going to put this one up, um, so yeah so freaking cute <laughs> so this is how this area is looking it's gonna be my filming area um now let's get into it okay so um i'm about to mount this onto the wall but i was wondering if i wanted it there or if i wanted to put it here um i haven't fully decided 
so yeah got the console table together got this chase lounge together it was like a gold and uh gold white with a pop of pink and like a pop color chair which i chose teal and it was actually on sale at house.com i like house i shopped with them when i had my first apartment really quick shipping as well and good quality so yeah now like i said it's just a matter of do i want the chase lounge right here or do i want to put it over there and put the garment rack down here so i haven't fully fully decided but um still deciding <laughs> still deciding i'm also kind of standing where the camera would go it would go like right here so yeah um i think i'm just gonna leave it how it is to be honest and this chase lounge is so comfortable but I'm missing a pink vase that goes there, a hot pink vase and gold flowers, like literally. And then I have these gold frames and gold prints that I'm gonna put up on this wall. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'm gonna put the rug down before I mount the garment rack. And lastly, I have like gold wall stickers. So that's literally all I'm doing for this area for filming. However, I can't believe that I lost two things that I wanted to put up and hopefully it didn't get trashed by mistake so I'm gonna go through and see like look around here but I swear I looked yesterday and I did not see it and I looked in my car as well so as a matter of fact I think I found it hold on hold on hold on found the vase and the gold flowers and I moved this over to actually mark where the holes need to be made and put the anchors in the wall that top right corner is hard to get to so i think i'm gonna have babe or Brittany help me and i'm gonna do the other three but um yeah i'm about to do that now i have to go back to my car to get my tool bag with some of the screws up there. I had to do that one over there because it needed to be rotated. Either way, this baby is up there and not going nowhere. Um, I put this gold dress because I wanted to see how it would look on camera because these arches, I actually would have preferred them over there, but they are the other way. And I actually saw that and I went online to look and they literally didn't have the opposite way arches so I was just like dang I'll just put them over here so it looks like they're just coming from the garment rack when it's on camera but I will always have to have something hanging there and that is okay now I am putting up these pictures which I kind of just been finessing with some thumbtacks and so far it looks good so I'm gonna let it be we're gonna keep the process going okay so just imagine the door being the gold mirror 
and everything is complete. I am super happy with how it turned out. I didn't get a super big rug that would extend all the way over there. I just feel like it wasn't needed, but um, I'm really happy. Like it looks so, so good. Babe is actually on the way with the um, gold mirror. If I didn't mention that already, she told me that it fit. So she would be on the way with it right now. Sorry, I'm over here fixing stuff. But um, yeah, I'm actually trying to stand where the camera will probably be, which right about here. So I do need to clean the mirror, but look, I told you it will almost reach. So this is so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. That TV will not be on the wall. So, um, when I'm filming, I don't think nothing, anything will be over there, but maybe a light stand you might see, but this is going to be kind of it. Like this is everything. I'm so happy. I could cry, but, um, yeah. And I'm hoping that it gets like, I'm trying to see, I don't know how tall I am. I'm, well, I know I'm five, four, but I don't know how tall I would look over there. Let me see. Okay. So this would probably be the vibes. I would be like right here trying on clothes or I could swing the foot of that the other way um, a little bit and just move over like around here. We'll see, mind you, this blinds will be closed because any other lighting outside of studio lighting could really affect it. So I'll have studio, 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 all this lighting and this will have clothes on it. So any like cast like right there should be covered. But yeah, I'm actually in love. This light will be off because um, it just wouldn't look right on camera when it shows up. It's 444. So um, yeah, this is uh, of course if the door is open, I'll just have the mirror back there. Um, and that's pretty much all I can think of. Honestly, I may or may not just have the mirror over there to block the window but i don't think i want to do that i don't feel like it'll look right but i just don't think i want to do that so yeah to put up the screen for outside but we did get um the curtains up which came out so freaking nice um of course i have to like move them around i feel like you have like that one window over there like a window you know um it's just like this table is perfect it's like black and white so i could paint it beige but i'm not um and what else i gotta water that plant over there i gotta water both these plants and i only put two panels over here i'll fix it but um i have to put the bench there too so i ain't really focused on that yet i like how high this goes as well um but yeah i put five panels over here and this is what it's looking like so far absolutely love it and just have to put together the bench and i have to i got a security stick from amazon for right here um even though i'm on like not the first floor so this is a table that i need to put together so here is how the studio turned out i showed you how it looked with the um mirror this is how it looks with a few clothes like i love it so so much good morning it is um i think around eight o'clock let me see yes 806 and i got up at 6 30 when babe left for work and i just was really laying around bsing but um this is like a pre prep of the room um the cleaners are gonna come today but i'll be at the office um filming most likely so yeah um i wanted to say first of all that middle pillow looks crazy but i wanted to say i wanted to get like a new comforter for my bed um i just want one big comforter and then multiple duvets because this is one comforter that we have and then i also have um we also have a black one. The black one is my favorite because it fits the bed better. Um, this one is just like a little too short. So I just want to get like a California king size comforter. 
and then just like change out the duvets whenever we want to change the color of the comforter so um yeah that's what i was trying to do here but this is just not big enough but let me fix that middle pillow i know y'all probably do not care what i'm talking about but um if you do care uh that pillow is just not doing it for me And that's all I wanted, some eggs. I don't like dry eggs so, and I don't like them too choppy. So this is how I make my eggs. So we are here. <laughs> um, all right, so one got to clean that before I film. Uh, but let me show y'all what we got. So we have my studio lights going. One there, one there, ring light, ring light. Um, why was I saying one? Two there, two there. Uh, then we have my monitor right there and my camera right there. All the blinds are closed um, because I may be filming at night sometimes or it may be rainy. So I don't want any natural light. I wanted to literally just get the gist of this without natural light. So I definitely want to, I'm like rearranging things and really getting a feel so that pink just pops back there a little more um i have my two phone tripods set up and yeah so we are doing it the room looks really really nice well i'm going to move that stuff but it looks really really nice lit up and camera's not really doing it any justice but on camera it's gonna look even better all of this area is almost complete this last bin is a few more things for over here. I was going through inventory, so I have to put this stuff in these drawers, but I was going through that. These um, have to be filmed, so I'm gonna take that into the filming room when I get a chance. But don't mind the hangers on the floor. Um, I was hanging stuff up. So this is how closet cell area, three bins, those are boots, this is um, bras and jackets and stuff this is like dresses and things that were kind of pre-packaged like because when I was in a garage I did not want these clothes just out like how I have them now so that was another reason why I wanted to move all of my office and um what do you call it fulfillment items <laughs> indoors because it just was like I don't want to have to like it's extra steps that you have to take so the clothes don't smell like garage or so they don't smell like bins or bags like it's just too much i want to let them hang up and be free so yeah this is how this section is looking over here all right y'all so i am ready to go home so that's what i'm about to do i have packed up my bag i have filmed i have posted it is a wrap once i find my crops okay so I will be back in the morning because I definitely have more to do as far as filming and a little bit more. So um, that was like day one at work. Okay, so I am back. I put on a tennis necklace and a bracelet and I actually thought I got this one year for my birthday. Um, like I bought it for myself, but I actually bought it around Christmas one year because we were exchanging gifts me um and some friends so i had got them some jewelry from the mall and then i had picked myself up this set now the only thing with it is with these tennis bracelets or necklaces um they never tend to want to stay like flat like that like i don't know it just needs to be jeweled all around if it's not gonna be right but i just put that on because i didn't want to do nothing crazy probably gonna put studs in because i don't really have hanging earrings so um i don't have any earrings to 
put on that are not gold so yeah i'm gonna touch up my shadow which i actually used a highlighter i didn't use a highlight i didn't use a shadow for the silver so i am gonna touch that up as well but i'm about to put the rhinestones on so um i have some inspo picks and i think i just kind of want a scattered look for the rhinestones i'm not really sure but let me touch that up I'm going to take my lip gloss with me too because I still have to set up the actual backdrop. And I did eat. I ate some Chick-fil-A and my makeup and stuff still bomb. Still bomb. But I'm still going to take the gloss with me and potentially take this highlight so that this is popping at all times. Okay. All times. All right, so enough of that. These are the rhinestones I got. Close it so it doesn't fall out. So the Nick Pro, 4,000 plus pieces, self-adhesive rhinestones. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Now, I don't, it's different sizes. So I want big for sure, but I think they're, I don't know. These not giving silver. It's giving very much iridescent, like fluorescent. They look more colorful than silver. Look. Oh, well, I guess on camera it'll show up. But anyhow. So it's a bunch of little sheets. Oh! It's a bunch of little sheets. And it's three sizes. Oh, it's actually three different colors. I knew it. I'm like, these don't look like... So it's three different colors. Okay. So I'm gonna go because that's like more pinky, rainbowish. I'm going more silver, just silver. All right, I'm glad I read that. Let's get it. Okay, so I had to do some testers because I was not about to be coming on here looking crazy. But I do want it to be a little uniform, but not. That's not uniform. But not really, like, because I do want the scatter effect. So, let me see if I can get that a little lower, though. Okay, now just come in. Uh, let me go ahead and start getting into these life updates for you all while I stick on this, these rhinestones. So, I have a list of things so I don't forget anything. One major update is, if you haven't assumed or guessed by now, my active wear line is coming back and we now have new, well, a new color wave. Now, I don't want to give you guys too, I'm going to do a full haul, you guys already know that, but I don't want to give you guys too much as far as moving forward, but this one is a new color wave. But the next one is new colors and pieces, okay? And that's all I'm going to say there because I don't want to do too much. I don't want to, oh, oh, wow, violate any, like, clauses or anything like that. So I'm super duper excited. We did a full-blown photo shoot, and I may insert some pictures here. But I am so happy, like, so, so happy everything i don't know i already told you guys this like everything that i've worked for with the help of you all just seems to come into fruition at the times where i'm questioning things the most and um i see things all the time and i'm like uh you know like is this not what i want to do but Am I on the right path? And then my angels will come and be like, yes. You know, prayer will be like confirming. And it's like, just calm down a little bit. Like, shh, shh. Be quiet, Kwana. Be quiet. Just continue working for what you've been working for. And um, like brand deals and stuff like that hasn't been the issue. Like I literally know. I don't want to say no cap. That's, <laughs> that's what the kids say. But no cap. Like getting deals is not the issue it's just like 
I always, well, I often question like oversaturation and things like, uh-oh, I lost that one in my nail. Just things like, how long do you plan to do this? You know, like, you know, and then especially at hard times, like with the, you know, the tragedies that's been happening. It's just like, you question not your passion, but you question the importance, you know? It's like, <sighs> crazy things are happening, and here I am with fashion or hair or makeup. And it's an outlet, of course, because it's artistry, but it's just, it just gets kind of hard sometimes. And I think that's the part where a lot of people aren't transparent about it and we just supposed to make it look extremely effortless and yeah i do this i do all of this and um i even tweeted like i'm just getting into this soft phase of life and it was before the whole soft girl lifestyle before that started trending i had already started stepping into that like i do not want to live a life of just hard stuff you know just doing too much just and me and my brother talked about this recently as well we just have this hustler mentality because we know what it's like to not have we know where we come from and we just work so hard to make sure that we have 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 uh oh i lost that oh no that we have 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 that sometimes we forget to sit down and enjoy what we have, 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 you know, does that make sense? Am I making sense here? So I'm really happy about this active wear line. That's the first big announcement. Um, I was happy the first time. I'm going to be happy the second time, the third, fourth, fifth, however many times it comes along. I'm happy. Okay. Because this is something that I, I, you know, have had so much creative control over and it's just like, instant in a sense a dream come true um and of course i want to expand past active wear but um when i get there i get there when i get there i get there so um for now with the new colors and just what we've been working on i'm just so freaking oh see how that one's higher and i think i want them that high so we're gonna pick you all and pick uh. all right now don't start messing up my makeup <laughs> and pick you off so anywho that's the first one okay and that is going to launch on my birthday you guys know we keep it around for four days because we are a sustainable brand so we um it's on demand what you order is what we make just to help save the turtles as people love to say but not to save the oh to help save the environment we only make what you order. So, yeah. Sorry, I started getting sidetracked because I felt like my rhinestones were falling off. But, um, again, announcement number one is that the active wear line is coming back. I know a lot of people were like, we missed it. When is it coming back? And it is coming back on my birthday. And I was really happy when I got the June 9th confirmation. I was like, absolutely, I'm so ecstatic. I cannot wait. My rhinestones are popping everywhere. Um, and it does, again, it ends on the 12th. So um, sustainable, on demand, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's announcement number one. Um, I think I'm like pretty much done with the scatter effect of the rhinestones. And I'm going to take them with me just in case any fall off. Because I do have like work to do over there before I can take the pictures. Um, so announcement number two is going to be... I have a separate office location now. So um, this is a moving vlog. So we will be moving into that office location in the next clips. And you will see the setup process and all that good stuff. And I'm just like you know how it's just like so much good is happening and just so much is happening and you just have to like sit there and take it all in that's literally what I've been having to do like even going over there doesn't feel real 
So how that came along was, you guys know me and my girlfriend have been together for over a year now. We just made a year in May. We were talking for a year and a half-ish. Yeah, a year and a half-ish because it's already June. And we are cohabitating. So if you've been seeing like the sneak peeks of her woman cave downstairs and painting the wall blue and... Um, that's also why I haven't done like a full house tour yet is because everything isn't done. I knew we would be living together soon. I knew things would be changing. People were moving in, people were moving out and it just was a lot of drama behind that. And it just was a bit too much. Okay. So, um, that's why I haven't done the full house tour, uh, changed some things around. It just was a lot. So with that being said, um, yeah, so we were getting settled here and, you know, we were going through the transition of us living together, cohabitating, and this is the first time I've ever lived with somebody, although in my past, you know, people would be around frequently, I never officially lived with anyone, any partner, so serious <laughs> are we serious not me and her because we are serious we locked in but are we serious like me and you like me and you are we serious right now yes we are so um um as you know my girlfriend had her own separate space um and with that so i was like babe can i use your apartment for my office <laughs> and she was like yeah why not like when i tell y'all she has been like the backbone of this whole new office operation she has like her and her brothers thank you okay thank you guys so much <laughs> her and her brothers moved everything and granted she got on my nerves a little bit that day she got my nerves because i already knew i was like girl if you're gonna be tired if you're gonna be hurting i don't want you to do it let's get some movers but she's like no we're gonna do it so she insisted and despite anything any negativity or anything that day it just was like it was all like once I got in and settled all of that faded away and all I could be was mm, I hate when the lip gloss does that all I could be was thankful was gracious was happy and that's where I'm at right now so um one room this used to be the studio but I just felt like it was doing too much. I felt, I don't know how y'all feel, but if I'm doing something like in my studio, I feel like, oh yeah, let me keep that. Let me throw it in the closet, throw it in the closet, throw it in the closet. I'm keeping too much, keeping too much. But if I have to transport it, like port it from the office here, I'm going to keep less. And not to say the only way for me to keep less was to, you know, get another location. I always wanted another location. Um, work from home, I know it was uh, groundbreaking for a lot of people and everybody loved it and you can do this. But for me, it was counterproductive to work from home and I've been doing it for so long that it just, it as a procrastinator, as somebody who struggles with time management and things like that, it can be very, very challenging to be in your comfort zone in your home and try to get work done. I have a whole office space, a whole studio, a whole warehouse in the garage um, fulfillment center. And I'm sitting on a couch every single day with my laptop. What? Because I know the couch is there because I know it's comfortable because that's why. So with that being said, I'm making sure it's like the same amount. So with that being said, I was like, you know, something has to change. And I already wanted an office space. I already wanted to, but you know, the leases for an office building, crazy, crazy. So I'm like, I think it would be easy to, easier to go ahead and do it from an apartment. So I was looking at apartments, but I'm like, baby, we're about to move in together. Like, I might as well just use yours. So that's how that took place. And you guys will see all the movement and all the setup and all of that in the next clips. Announcement number three is my new website. I told you guys briefly about it in an ASOF haul. Um, DWLooks.com is now up. Now that is not like a, it's like a blog. So whatever I post on TikTok and Instagram as far as fashion and maybe hair and stuff like that. You will be able to go to dwlook.com, dwlooks.com, dwlooks.com, 
and you will get every specific link. On Instagram, I can tag. On Facebook, I can tag where items are from. I can say this shirt is Shein, these pants is BBT and Co. But you can go on dwlooks.com and get the exact link. Because people already are like, okay, where's the links? Or what size did you get? Or um, what's the name of this item? I have the exact links for every single thing and that has made my life so much easier and you guys have really been supportive of that site y'all been subscribing to it y'all have been clicking on it viewing it and all of that i also redid my site thequanawhite.com if you're interested in seeing what i did over there too um dw looks also has my closet sale how it works um as far as mystery boxes uh it also has my measurements everything you my neck width my arm width everything okay so my measurements are there recent hauls so it's just a really nice showcase of my style fashion looks hauls all of that so i'm sorry but that's aggravating so yeah now i have three more announcements which will kind of merge into each other but the first thing is kind of just a closet sale which we already briefly talked about i only do mystery boxes now because it's easier for me okay i have a virtual assistant i don't have a physical assistant anymore um so it's hard to do everything and try to list each item on poshmark individually so now my mystery boxes are literally you tell me what you want if you see something in a recent haul or something that you're interested in, let me know and I will put it in the box, okay? And I think I'm going to change the amount of items because it's hard to find boxes big enough for it through USPS. So with that being said, um, and people were ordering like three boxes at a time, and I wish there was a way where I can say I'm only taking, like you can order one box at a time because it's hard to try to fit. 20 items in one usps box so yeah um i know mystery boxes isn't everybody's favorite but i try to give you exactly what you're looking for and what you're asking for so that's just an update on the closet sale and now that i'm in the new location you will see how much items i have and i still have a bunch to go through here so with that being said that will be active around the same week of my birthday uh, maybe the next week um, but things will be available, uh, before then. Okay. okay. So the next thing is mentorship. So with, I want to be, I tried to make it more like a mentorship program, that brand ambassadorship program. And it was just like, not hard to keep up. It was more so like, it was a lot going on at that time. You know, it was moving. It was this, it was that, it was you know, the pandemic, it just was everything. So with that, I'm like, whew. So I am separating mentorship, like a more one-on-one -on -one thing. Whereas the I Want to Be, we have a brand ambassadorship program, but you only talk to me maybe once a month, I believe. And it's just like, with mentorship, it's more frequent. And you know, the brand ambassadorship program, it only lasts a certain amount of time three months um so it does you can like level up in it but for the most part when we first launched and it is going to relaunch but when we first launched it just was like mm, what's a learning process i had never ran a brand ambassadorship program so this mentorship option is just something that people who really intimately want to you know study up under me i did start to like, offer that on my website um, because so many people asked about it. They're like, we'll pay you whatever. Just be my mentor. I want to study up under you. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I am so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, and it's different to years, I guess you can say, with the mentorship. It's like the pink card, the black card, the gold card. So, it comes with different things. You can check that out on my website as well. I'll have it linked down below. Now, lastly, just updates on my brands. So with DWA, DW's Ambiance, my interior design and planning company, I do freelance, okay? And granted, we may move into a more sturdy, you know, steady, depending, because I told you guys, I don't feel like I would be doing trial hauls till I'm 60. So um, I might, though, don't do me. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I don't feel like that. So I feel like 
I like to plant my feet firmly in something that I know I can do, you know, into retirement. So I have been picking up more freelance projects. I didn't do a YouTube video, but I have two TikTok videos and a, another Instagram video to post. One is a more in-depth on a client that I recently did. And I have some more stuff like, and I also have some really old footage from redecorating areas that I need to post. But um, other than that, I do freelance mostly right now until I get my other two certificates because I did get my event planning certificate, but I'm still in courses for my interior design and my wedding planning. So I'm working on wedding right now. I'm halfway through my course. And once, you know, once I get my certificates and I plant them on the wall is when I'm going to really go full throttle into DWA. But right now I do it as freelance and I'm still learning and I'm still in my courses. Okay. So with I want to be, I am now putting myself on a strict schedule now that I am going to the office now, like I'm leaving the house and going to the office um, one, it helps me to be more active. It helps me to just move around more, to actually utilize office stuff. And it's just so much easier. Okay. And I'm not in the business of explaining why it works for me, but for me, separating my home from work has been the best thing. And it's only been one week. <laughs> so it's been the best thing for me. I don't want to keep this segment too long. So let's wrap it up. So what I want to be, I am now putting myself on a strict schedule um not just work schedule but schedule to have these the rest of my courses go live um it's been a huge delay and it's just been the procrastination the just too much seasonal this seasonal that just doing too much and trying to get too much done and overwhelmed and it's just like left and right i feel like oh my gosh i'm putting so much into youtube when i have my brands and this and that it's just like it just was becoming so much and i literally had to stop slow down reset and i was like i got a cold i told you guys and it just was like this is telling you to slow down slow your roll and think about what you want to do and granted like i said we don't have the hustle 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 but if you want to have things going on and you want to always have something going on and you want to give back and you want to do this you have to sit down and think about how you as one person can achieve that without overdoing it so i had to sit down and say okay we are going to get the new spot. Um, we'll move into the new spot. And we are going to just have everything fall into place. And things haven't fallen into place. And me and my girlfriend has said that too. Like things are really falling into place. And we are so happy. We are both in a really happy place. And me personally, just a sidebar. If my work is stressing me out and working from home made it worse. Because now I'm working from home. And now my work is affecting, like, it's affecting my home life. If I'm sitting in the living room, I'm like, damn, I need to go upstairs to the office. I need to go here. I need to go in here and pack all this. I need to do this. I need No. My work now stops and starts at one time, okay? And when I come home, it's home with babe, the dogs, and I can f fully, fully, fully give my attention and myself to my relationship, to my home. So, yeah, I needed the separation. I needed the separation, and I'm really happy about it. So, with that being said... um, yeah, I'm going on a strict schedule as far as when I'm I'm giving myself deadlines now to publish these courses and make them all update anything I need to update in them and just make them all go live and out of pre-order phase. Lastly, Thrifty Slay, you guys have been extremely supportive and I could not thank you guys enough. I couldn't. I have a new wig that I'm launching on Thrifty Slay after my birthday. I'm not doing it. I got a lot going on on my birthday. So after my birthday, I'm launching a new wig and then um, a new lash, like a uh, temporary, like a launch, like a temporary collection, the boss collection. And I'm going to do that. Okay. All this is after my birthday though. And um, yeah, you guys just have been very supportive of Thrifty Slay lately. And I realized when I started to pour more into my brand that it would definitely help because if you're not pouring into your brand, it's just sitting there. And that's why I felt like my Instagram was just literally sitting there. And I'm like, I have 15,000 followers on my Thrifty Slay account. Why aren't you posting frequently? Why aren't you, you know, just showcasing? You know, it was like a what people like to call 
I forget what it's called, but like it just was in the background. Like, oh yeah, I have a brand Thrifty Slay. Yeah, I sell lashes and wigs and hair and do this and do that. But I wasn't really pouring into it. I was pouring more into my content. And like I told you all, my business, my personal business literally made about five, six times what YouTube was bringing in. So why am I pouring 24 hours, well, let's not say 24, 16 hours out of a 24 hour day into this, even though I'm passionate about it, why am I doing that? When I literally have a whole brand here and it's not about the money, it's about your passion. It's about how can you start this and not see it through and uh, allow it to flourish, you know? So, um, it's just a lot y'all. It's just a lot. So that's all the updates and announcements that I have for you. So again, just a recap, that was the brand, um, updates. That was the mentorship update, the closet sale update. DW Looks is Live, the new active wear line and colors, as well as the new office space. So I hope I got through everything. Those are some, oh, and lastly, cohabitation. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And um, I also have been going to sleep early, y'all. Like I've been getting into bed and it, it just feels good. I've been getting up earlier, going to bed earlier, and things have been getting done. You know, I used to think that, oh, last thing I'm going to insert, because this is going to be like a 10 minute rant, but I used to think that, oh, you got to have this grind, 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 go get it, stay up to three, four, five in the morning, get sh done attitude, you know, but that wasn't really benefiting my body. That wasn't benefiting my relationship. That wasn't benefiting my life. It was not being a fair show. Okay. So I'm glad I'm happy. All right. Um, across the board so anywho that's the update so let's go ahead and get into moving and all that good stuff good morning so this is going to be the last clips of the moving vlog once again i want to thank let's get checked for sponsoring this video if you are ready to order your at home kits be sure to go to trylgc.com slash daquana white and use the code daquana 30 to save a chunk of change um i wanted to show you all where I'm at right now with the office space and um, like tell you what more I need to get done, if anything, and all of that good stuff. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. Okay, so this is the view when you first walk in. This is like the closet cell stuff. That stuff is on hangers, ready to be hung up. But I think I'm going to do uh, one of my sponsored videos with those items. Um, so the... I have to take out this trash, okay? That box, again, that big old box is going back to the house because Amazon sent the wrong thing. On top of that, it's just my purse. I don't know really where I'm going to sit my purses um, when I do come in. Maybe right there on that thing um, or I don't know yet, but I just put them on top of that box for now. Um, the other five boxes are things I need to show you all on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And then the tool bag, I'm just keeping it around because I do have two more things to build. So I didn't know if I would need that. And I need to put my smart lock on the door. So yeah, I just kind of left the tool bag sitting there. So anywho, um, you guys know outside, I'm waiting on the rest of the title, title <laughs> tile to get here. And it comes Tuesday the 7th. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to finish the floor. Then I'll roll out the bigger rug and put the two decoratives where they need to be. And then I could build that bench and that's a small little side table. And that's all that's going to be out there. Um, I might put like some decor. Uh, I knew I do have some string lights. I don't know where I want to put them. And then I might put like lanterns and plants. But other than that, this is like a little, um, I thought about getting a bar stool. I have not sold on it yet, but I think a bar stool will be nice there in case, um, you know, babe wanted to come over and eat with me or if I wanted to eat there. But um, I just haven't done it yet. So I do have to put the screen up. I'm pretty sure I could ask for a screen, but I feel like Babe did. And I don't know. Um, so I'm just like, I'm going to put my own screen up here. The one I don't have to slide open, I could just walk through it. And then I do have a security bar that I got from Amazon that I have to put there. 
Um, and I'm on a, you know, like I said, I'm not on the first floor, so I'm not really scared <laughs> of anybody coming in, but I do have a lot, like this is my livelihood, which is why I'm changing to a smart lock and I'm putting the security bar because, you know, my computers, everything that I, my camera, my equipment, everything is here. So here is the tea bar. I am going to bring some honey and some tea from the house. Um, and maybe I've been wanting some iced coffee for some reason. So I like to do the curate coffee and then, um, or buy cold coffee and I know put it over ice and creamer and stuff. But right now it's just a tea bar. Then I have the printer area, the shredder, and then like some more stuff in those drawers. I want to use this wall to put up like three stickers of my brand logos. As you can see, I have the whiteboard. Now, the week when I come back um, on Tuesday, I'm probably not going to, I want to start this fresh, like a fresh week, like on a Sunday or, well, not Sunday. I don't plan on coming in on Sunday, but on a Monday, I want to start the whiteboard. So, um, and this is my birthday week and stuff. So I was just like, yeah, no, we're going to go ahead and wait. We're going to break that whiteboard in. We're going to break that bad boy in. <laughs> okay. Um, on a fresh week, a fresh start. Okay. So here is what my desk area is looking like. I told you all I was going to just stack these pink boxes. Now, this is not going to be the cutest setup because, I mean, the boxes are not the cutest standing or sitting there. But it gets the job done. Doesn't look that bad from this angle. So it is what it is. This is my actual main desk area. You guys have seen this already. And I thought about getting rid of the lamps because I have two other lamps like right there. And the other one is right there. So I'm still debating on it. I just kept like have them there because they were from my old office. But I don't know if I'm going to use them yet. So then coming over here, this is the actual packing station, shipping station, all of that. So um, this table is now clear. These are like my sanitizer wipes. Um my UV sanitizer, hand sanitizer, um, disinfectant wipes, not sanitizer, but almost the same thing, right? Um, maybe not, whatever. <laughs> and then I just have little things that I might need. Um, this is for if I'm on a patio or in a garage, because this used to be in a garage. And these is to spray the wigs, um, if people want the tenant lace. And then these are just like, you know, post-its and little things for um, that I may need. And then a blank canvas, right? I do need to vacuum in here as well. Um, these are just some logo boxes that just recently came in yesterday. Um, we have pink, white, and oh, I have something on top, but that's the pink, and then the white is down here. We have some thrifty sleigh bags, which I'm really excited about. These shopping bags here, and then mailers. Uh, pack and paper so everything is like really convenient that's where I store like the bonnets the uh, accessories that I do sell and like my envelopes for lashes so yeah like everything is just here and I don't have to worry about going up and down stairs and doing this and doing it I ain't got time <laughs> so now this is not the cutest like up there eh, you know but these are like packing goodies and um lashes are down there and look at all that styrofoam in there on the floor that's a mess but i do have the vacuum like i said i just got settled in now <laughs> to yesterday was the final day okay um but these are like packing goodies and stuff like that uh promo stuff the label printer computer and everything over here these go to my wig bags i didn't know where i should sit them um and since i'm still waiting to have the washer and dryer removed to um, put all my USPS and packing stuff like excessive stuff in there. I'm just like, they're just sitting here for now. Look at this random piece of uh, shredded paper. And then I have like more lashes over here. And then these are like my mannequins and uh, thread and hot glue and things to wash wigs. So yeah, that's how that is looking. Um, and lastly, I think I showed you this already, but this is going to be what I put at the bottom of the steps. Um, like I said, I am not on the first floor, so I do have to go up and down stairs. So if I pack orders or whatever, um, I don't think USPS will pick them up from here. But if they can, I would just sit this outside the door 
with orders in it. If not, this will be used to transport orders to my, um, you know, to where they need to go, to my home. Um, and have them picked up from there or just straight to USPS. We'll see because I do plan on hiring another assistant. So I wouldn't have to worry about uh, taking the stuff to USPS or um, to my house to be picked up by USPS. So that is what that is for. And I thought that was really convenient. They did have a pink one, but I think it was, I don't know if it folded. This one actually folds and it had a white one too. But like I said, I don't think they fold it like I needed it to. And this one does. So the bathroom is really plain Jane. And I need to clean up in here too. But uh, Babe already had it decorated um, with the gray. It looks beige and brown to me. But the gray. Um, so yeah, again, I need to clean up in here. I brought this little stand from the house because it was an extra one that Babe didn't need in the closet anymore. So I'm going to put tissue and stuff there. Um, so, and maybe candles, but, uh, that's pretty much that. I don't plan on doing much. And here is the studio. Now it's dark because I am about to film. So the blinds are closed, but, um, I'll give y'all a little ring light action. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. So this house or this place, you have to actually turn on this to get some light like to, for the outlets to work it's interesting because it doesn't control the actual light so yeah i'm actually about to film really quickly um i have like three hours before we leave so i told babe i was gonna come and do some work just to get some stuff done so i'm not coming back to a mound of work and sorry for all the movement um so as you know, I took my pictures yesterday and my backdrop is still up. I'm thinking about keeping it up ever. Um, I was about to say something. Yeah, I might use it for like some of my Savage X Fenty content um, or just other pictures that I want to do if I wanted like a plain curtain backdrop or something. But yeah, I do have to pop those balloons and stuff. And I need to slide my monitor out of the viewfinder. But we about to come in here and get some she in and the boohoo done. And the way I like to do it is lay out everything like on the floor. Um, how I need to try it on like in order. And then I try it on. And that's pretty much how I do that. So yeah, I hung up my active wear because I have to haul that. Um, if I have enough time, I'll do that today. If not, I don't even know if I have all my pieces here. I feel like I'm missing a bra. Oh, maybe not. Whatever. If I have enough time, I'll do it today. If not, I'm doing it when I come back on Wednesday and dropping it on Wednesday. And then I have the Curvaceous Boutique. And I still have stuff at the house. Um, two more bins to bring over with clothes that's going in the closet sale and clothes that I need to review. But this is how that area is looking. And I feel like I showed y'all. But if not... If I didn't show y'all, this is where the USPS boxes and stuff is sitting right now because we're waiting for the storage to open up in the laundry room. So that is that. Super excited, about to knock out some content and thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for joining this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed the updates. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. Um, the progress of everything in here and I'm just super duper excited as I told you all already now I got to fix my hair and make sure my makeup is good and get on camera okay